Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Daddy. How are you doing today? Oh, okay, enjoying the day. Can can you? Ah, uh, yeah, my day has been yeah. fine. I did a lot of there, there was no school today. So you enjoyed yourselves. That's the one. Mom? I said there was no school today, right? So you enjoyed yourselves. Yes. And for more people to join us. We'll be starting very soon. Okay. Hi, Emanuela. You're looking very great. Did you go somewhere? <laughs> yeah, tell us about it. What What are you celebrating? Did we go somewhere? Emanuela, you don't want to tell me. <laughs> All right, I can't hear you because you are muted, but it's fine. All right, so we'll be starting very soon. Let's still keep inviting our friends. Okay, so let's invite our friends to join in and let's um, plug your laptop. Plug, plug your laptop and um, open up your, your build box. Open up your build box. You can all unmute your microphone. All right, so first question. So the first person to answer, or the first person that can answer will be like whatever the, the person that gets that answer correct. Okay. So I'll be asking you some questions. I want to give some people some prizes. So just to know about okay, what you've been learning so far. Okay, so tell me, first question. What is the name of the tool we're using to build our game right now? Buildbox. Excellent. So Terminella has one point. Okay, so I'll record, I'll record the point here all right okay second question second question so can someone tell me the difference between three dimension and two dimension games What's the major difference between two dimension games and three dimension games? Okay, Manela. No, Manela raised her hand. Hold on. Okay, Manela. Because uh, three, three dim the three dimensions have three sides, while the two dimensions have two sides. Um, what are the three sides? Three dimension has. Tell me. Manuela. X, Y, Z. Okay, what of two dimensions? X, Y. Excellent, excellent. All right, so Manuela has one point. All 
Okay. My next question. My next question. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. yes. What's the name of the template? What's the name of the template we've been using? Flappy box. Flappy, Flappy box. Flappy box. Flappy box. David. All right. David got that first. All right. David got that first. All right. So David has one point. Very good. Okay. So another question. Another question. So there is one most important part of like when we're making our game, there's one very important place where we keep going through every time. Our Can build box. Me? No, no, no. Open, open, open. I said yes. Oh, mind map. Um, mind map. All right. Um, Manuela said it first. <laughs> so Manuela said it first. So I'll give that to Manuela. No, you didn't get it um, correctly, yes. but you were not sure. But you said it first. So I'll give that to you. Good job. So David. So David, you don't have to raise your hand first. Just I say the answer. No, that is not correct. Just say the answer if you know it, okay? Okay. So Emanuela now has um one point. I'll call it I'll call it everything. All right. Next question. <laughs> Next question. Are we ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, so who wants to tell me what's the difference between mind map and node map? No. Yeah. Mind, not get that. The difference between mind map and node map. My mom is when you get started. No. So tell me, what is the difference between mind map and node map? You know, we are busy yeah. mind map, mind map, okay? Then yesterday we used node map. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between mind map and node map? Does anybody know that? Okay, go on. Mm. All right, so let me help you out with that. Okay, so my map shows you like the overall view of like how one screen moves to another or how one particular um, point or action or navigation moves to another of the entire game. That's like the mind map. So we use that a lot. We see from start, you go to your splash screen, the splash screen, the navigation button will take you to your main game. That's the mind map. For your node map, as you can see yesterday, right? So when we were in our scenes, right? Scene one, scene two, scene three, when we clicked on background, or when we clicked on um, the points, or when we clicked on the enemy, and when we double clicked on it, you see that it took us to the node map. So that node map was where we could change, okay, how many, any, um, the color of the enemy, that node map was where we could change. So node map is for like specific um, scenes, like specific scenes, right? Why mind map is like for the entire, for the entire game. Okay, so that point goes to me. So next question, next question. 
Next question. To duplicate a scene or a character, what do you press? Control D. Control D, correct. So David has one point. Good. All right, next question. So, Emmanuel, we're just um, asking questions. I'm giving a gift at the end. Um, so whoever has the highest point, I will continue today's class. All right, so the next question. Next question, next question. Okay, so next question. Who wants to tell me? Who wants to tell me? So I'm looking for a very advanced question. Hi, Justin, welcome. All right, so I'm, I'm just trying to ask them questions Hi. on what we've, we've been learning so far. So I'm doing okay. some sort of quiz and they've been getting some points. So you can check the chat to see who is leading. Okay, Um, my next question. All right, so my next question now. What is a splash screen? A splash screen is something like when you're doing um a game. Something will come out on the screen and it will disappear back again. Where is it always? Like, where would you always see it on the game? Where you get, like, when you get a point, it will come out. Uh, no. What is a splash screen? What is a splash screen? So I know Uncle Tosin asked yesterday and he even told you the answer again. So what is a splash screen? Nobody? Wow. Nah, nah, nah. Who wants to answer? Divine and Olive, if you are listening, you can unmute yourself and answer. What is a splash screen? Uh, um, Emanuela, is Daddy around? Tell him to come and move your brother away from there so he stops disturbing you. What's your brother's name? What's his name? Emanuela, what's your brother's name? Oh. It's your birthday, but don't disturb Emanuela, okay? All right, um, next. Eric, yeah, stop disturbing him. That's good. All right. Okay. Class. Nobody, nobody going, going, going. Okay, so it's splash screen is more like the first screen you see. That loading screen or the first screen you see when you come onto your, all right? So when, so, uh, um, I didn't get that. give an example. That first screen, all right? So when you open, the splash screen is more like the first screen that you see, like that loading screen, that first screen that comes up when you open any application or any game, okay? So Uncle Tosin is an example of Candy Crush. So when you open Candy Crush, right, that first screen that comes in that shows you the king, that, that the right king on it, that first screen that comes up, right, that's what's called a splash screen. So for any game or any application, when you open it, that first screen that comes, all right, is called a splash screen. So one point to me. 
So I'll ask the final question before we move to today's activity. So one last question. So what's my question going to be? So what's my question going to be? Okay. Can someone tell me if I want to preview my game, what would I do? You press the play you press a button. You press the you press the button. So I don't I don't know who answered first. I don't know who answered first. Press I don't really answer the play button. Button. You press the play button. <laughs> all right, you so you press, all, the, play press the play icon. You press the play icon, play button. Okay, you're all correct. <laughs> you're all correct. That's very, very correct. Okay, so I'll ask one more question because I want one person to get one more point. Okay, one more question. Next question, one more question, one final question. Send all of us your music. So if I want to if I want to Mm. If I want to save my game on Build Box, how do I do that? You press file. Go to file. You press save. Save file. Go to file. Go to file. Save build box. No, someone, someone's I voice mean, came in first. You All go right, to so, file. Someone, <laughs> someone's voice came in first. I think that was Emanuela, if I'm right. No. Oh, whose voice came in first? Was it me? It was me. Uh, it was okay. me. <laughs> All right. So everybody's answering together. But it's very good. I'm very excited that you understand like, what we've been doing so far. And it's very excellent. So how many points do we have? Hmm. So Temela has one point. Manela has one, two points. David has two points. Okay, so I'll give a final question because we have a tie between Emanuela and David. I'll give a final question. Just Emanuela and David now to answer. One last question. One last question. All right, so in order for our build box to work properly and for us to be able to preview our game, there was something we installed. There was something we installed after we installed Buildbox in order for our preview to work. So I want either David or Emanuela to answer it. These are tiebreaker questions. So there was it, an application we installed so that our game preview will work properly. Mm -hmm. Application. No. There was an application. Just David Apply. and Emanuela. Just David and Emanuela can answer. These are our tiebreaker questions. So, David and Emanuela, your time starts now. What is the name of the application we installed?
Nobody. Ah, someone must know this answer. Someone must know it. So, Manila, I said yesterday, hey, my game is not, I cannot preview my game. And I'm like, okay, I reinstalled so 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 and so. Terminal. Oh, does terminal know the answer? Terminal, do you know the answer? Ah, that you you must know the, this answer. There was something we installed. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Go and check Telegram. Go and check the Telegram group. <laughs> you can go and check the Telegram group. That's your expo. You can go and check Telegram group. So someone already knows the answer. Someone already posted it. But I still want David and Manuela. I want David and Manuela. Up now, Doctor Wng. Another. Why did you say David? Open up, open up, open up from dot org. All right, open a l, open a l, open a l. So don't forget that you always need that, like to be able to preview your game on build box. Know that so David has one more point, so which leaves David with three points. Which leaves David with three points. Congratulations, everybody is a winner today. So, what am I going to give to David? What am I gifting David? Who wants to know? Who wants to know? All right, so I'm, I want to check the price of the paid speed box plan. Um, let me check the that. Because I want us to keep exploring build box. Mm. All right, so I would announce my gift. No, I can't the class. I have a gift for someone. All right, so, um, my David is on Telegram. Mm. All right, oh. all right, so now we're ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Yes, we are ready. We yeah, are all right. Good to go. Are we ready? All right. So, so, yeah. so I understand that we can't export the game because of the free plan. All right. So today, you know, yesterday we mentioned that we'll be exporting a game. So today we'll be doing something else. All right. So today we'll just continue remixing our game and to like add like other things to our game and to maybe put our names to say that, okay, this game was made by me. And um, I'll also, also show you, okay, how like you can save your game, you can always preview it, and also how you can make use of other templates, the same way you have used this. So just, we'll just round off on this particular remixing of our game and we'll like, see how we can make use of any other template, right? So that if on your own, you want to make your own game, 
we can always use any other template. Um, to finish that point. Let's give you calls to that. Just you're muted. Yeah, that's it. Come here, right, come so here. Just I said how yes, that's can, fine. Yeah, how they can keep using all that template. All right, everyone, you can mute your microphones now. If you're about to get started. So, yeah, Tosin, go ahead. Let me just make you quick. All right, so you can share your screen and Okay, hi everyone. Um, trust me, very thank you very much for joining. Um, what I'll be showing us today is how to add um, a credit so, you know, in games. If you go to like the credit screen on games, you will see like this game was built, by, but since it's just you that built this is your little flappy box game, um, what we can do is something like this. So I look at my screen. So now I look at my screen. I'm trying to share my game. And what's you can see the flappy box by Lua Tosin. Let me click on play. Now, if you look below, you can see this game was built by Tosin. Can we all see that? If you look below, I'd like to hear your comments in the chat. Can you hear this game was by Lua by Tosin? If you can see it, kindly drop it in the chat if you can see it. This game was built by Tosin just at the bottom of my screen. All right, can we all see this game was built by Tosin? Can I see? Yes, yes, good, good. Yeah, everyone can see it. Yes, yeah, so one all is right, see, then. So that's what we are going to be. Yeah, one is do that same thing. Yes, yeah, so we are going to be exactly working on our so I'll need to work on this so when everybody's playing your game they can see that yes the game is built so to start this the first thing we'll do is go to the topmost layer of our game where we can see everything about our game and what is that that's our mind map now from our mind what can we do um if we go to our 2d world when we preview our game, I'll click on play. If you notice, there's like this text, that number two text there that shows, that two number two text is on the UI. What is UI? UI is basically our user interface. What is our user interface? It is the way um, our game sends out visual feedback to us, aside from the game world itself. Let's say you have your text, you have images, you know, when you're playing games like Mortal Kombat and you see like the health bar of your game and you see like the health bar, you, that health bar is hosted on the UI of that particular world or that particular screen. So if you go back to your mind map, you see something like 2D world UI, that green one. 2D world UI. Can you see it? Can you all see this 2D world UI? It's linked board as well. Can you all see it? Hello? Hello, anybody? Just type in the chat. If you can just type a yes in the chat if you can see it. All right, so open your mind map. So when you open your mind map, after to the world, you see to the world UI. All right, so yes, they can see it. Okay. So now double click on to the world UI. So everyone, double click on to the world UI. So now after clicking on the um the to the world UI, so now over here is the font that shows us what our score text. If you see it here, the function in the properties bar, the function this 
particular text here is to show us our score. Now, to get in the, this game was used by your name, then my name, go to the assets panel and drag in under labels, drag in defaults. Just drag it to yours. From default from on, on the assets panel, you just drag the default fonts to your screen. Then now you should have two of them in your screen on your um, hierarchy here. So click on this one. I will all be able to drag it out. I'm Tilton, can you check that again? Don't understand. All right, then let's go through it again. Let's go through that again. All right, then. So let me delete it. I said from your assets panel, just like we dragged um, different objects for our 2D world, it's the same thing here. Go to your labels. Can you see this here? Default font. Default fonts here yeah, on that label. Just like left click on fonts and drag it to your UI world. Okay, I everyone. To do that. All right, everyone. Have we, have we opened this uh, to the world UI? Have we opened that? Um, you can unmute yourself. Um, Emanuela, unmute yourself. Emanuela, unmute. Let me hear you. David, unmute as well. All right. So, have you opened this yes. to do? Have you opened to the world UI? Yes. Yes. Okay, you've opened it. Okay, good. Can you see this default font? It's the last thing in the asset library. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. So just. Hold it and drag it into this box we have here. Mine is not working. It's not dragging. Yes, I've done that. Okay, David has done that. All right, Terminala, try one more time. So hold that default font. Hold that default font and try to drag it. I don't know. If it's not working. Calm down. Oh, the so. default font. Click on it. Have you clicked on default font? No. Click on default font. Yes. Have you clicked on it? Yes, I'm clicking it, but I don't want to answer. Yes. Hold on, it's not going to do anything when you click on it. I just want to be sure that you're clicking on it. All right, so um, when you're clicking on it now, and you're clicking on it, don't leave it alone. So like hold it down and drag. So hold it down and drag. Drag to that box. What should so, I put down? Hold that default font, hold it down with your mouse then drag it to the box. I've done it. Done done it. Done it. Okay. Have you done it, Terminala? Yes. Awesome. All right, um, Justin, continue. Justin, are you there? Okay. Um, so, after doing this, what we now need to do is go to the... Yes, I'm here. Uh, your internet is breaking a bit, though. Can you... I think your internet is breaking. Hello? Hi. Your internet is breaking. Can you... Justin, your internet is breaking. Can you check it? <coughs> <clears throat> Just now there. Oh, did you leave? Let me see. 
Right, just you're muted. So just check your internet and then um, unmute us uh, now. If it's better. Hello, can you hear me? All right, yes. now, um, yeah, I think it's better. All right, go on. All right, then, thank you very much. So now um, let's go to our properties uh, panel here. Under properties of this text, this particular new text I created, you see text. So click on that, just like we did the flappy box by Watson. Then from here, you can just say this game was built by. Then you put in your name. Then press enter. Then you will see it appear on your screen. Can Sorry, I didn't that? get that. Okay, let's go over it again. So, click on this this text, this default font that you drag into your center of your screen here. Go to the properties bar by the right. You would see the option that says text. Then click on this box in front of that text. Then type in this game was built by Tosin. Can you see that? Okay, so when you're clicking that default font, look for text at the right hand side and just type this game was built by Tosin. Or dam or dummy or David or Manila or Timula. So let me know if you've done it. Done it. Okay. Someone has done it. Who else? I have done it. Okay, good. Who else, who else who are we waiting for? All right, so has everyone done it now? No. Okay, I'm not allowed, are you waiting for? So beside text, they just type this game was built by Timnola. Or Timmy, yeah, just right, Timmy. Tim, now are you done? Is the man still here? Almost. Um. All right, so for those that are done, all right, so try to, um, I think they can preview the game right now, right? Justin, can they preview the game? Yes, we can preview our game now. If you've done that, click on the preview button and let's see if it is there now. I'm checking mine out. Can you see this game was built by Tosin? I can see it. Awesome, awesome. I can see mine. That's quite awesome. amazing. Okay, very good. Okay, so I think mine, my, my um, what's it called now? My boundaries were, were you white. Oh, if your boundaries were white, then so you can work with the color. 
Okay. So I think my boundary just like so it was so it it's or my background was white, so it's showing right. on my background. It's, it's oh. white on my background. All right, so I'll just change, I'll just edit the color. So do I have to change the color of my background now or can I just change the color of this text? Oh, I just moved, let me see. All right, so still not there. All right, okay, so I moved the text to show on my boundaries instead. Yeah, so it's showing well now. Okay. All right, I believe we've well done that. I believe we've well done that yes. because I have my end. Okay, so yeah, so you have your game. Um, so for this game, I think we're done. So I want us to play our game to see, okay, what um, what's the highest score you can have? What's, what's your highest score? Then share with me what your score was. So preview your game and try to play it. To know okay what your IS score will be. Auntie, so for me, I had three. Yes. Add fifteen. I'm play the game. You're what? I'm trying to play the game. All right, and what's happening? I have one score. All right, that's one point. All right, just keep playing. I want to know, okay, what can be our highest score? Who would have the highest score? Who had 15? Someone said they have 15. Can you share the screenshot? Share the screenshots with me on Telegram. So just share the screenshots with me on Telegram. Okay, you're sharing your screen. We're sharing the screen now. All right, David, this is amazing. So David had 15. All right, um, Emanuela, why are you confused? It's not showing the game. You Do you know where your preview button is? Yes. All right, then click on that. Click on that to preview the game. If it's not showing that, it means you are yet to install OpenAL. If it's not preview your game, it means you are yet to install OpenAL. But you, you were seeing your game yesterday, right? Oh, you didn't join us yesterday, that's true. All right, but if um, if you're yet to, if you can't preview your game, then it means you're yet to install OpenAL. So look at, um, try to install OpenAL. I try to install OpenAL, just follow the link on Telegram, post it on Telegram, how to install OpenAL. Um, yeah, so just follow that so you'll be able to install OpenAL. All right, Tosin, um, any other thing for them today? Yeah, so you can just keep playing this year game and keep working on like different other games. So Uncle Tosin will show you how to work on like several other games. 
okay, how to work on other games. And as soon as we can get a paid account, we'll show you how to um, export to um, Play Store or Apple Store as soon as we get a paid account. So with the free account, we just saw the notice that we can't export with the free account now. Um, so as soon as you get a paid account, you'll be able to export your game. So right now you can only preview it on Buildbox. So if you want to show anyone, you can just come on Buildbox and play with your friends. Then you can also make use of other templates, as many other templates as you like. So, so um, I'm also going to show you how to use like other templates. So there are a lot of templates you can use from. So I'm just going to show you how to use other templates now. And we'll round up for today's class and like the training in general. But don't worry, if you have other questions, okay? If you have other questions, we're always on Telegram to answer your other questions. All right, so I'm just going to show you how to make use of other templates. All right, then. Thank you very much, Dami. So it was amazing working on this game. I think we all have it built already. Um, let me see. My high score currently is 17. And I think I can beat that. Um, let's just go. Uh oh. I don't think I can. So, um, quickly, one thing we can do is we can go back to our welcome screen. And from our welcome screen, we have access to so many other games here. So many more of them that we can always play around with. So, with this, if you remember, this was the game we used the flappy box. And if you see our current game, it looks totally different from that. Can you see? It looks totally different from what we had earlier. So moving on, let's try out another template and see how we can make use of it. Good. So now let's try out this Martian Marathon. Now it says you want to save changes. That's to the previous project we're working on. You can just click on save. And after saving that project, you can open up this new project. Although it would have to download the assets needed for that particular project before it opens. Should I press save? Yes, yes, please do. So the first thing I'll need you to um, have a look at after opening this project. How many of us have been able to open this project? My own is downloading. All right, then. Let's wait for it to finish downloading. So once you can see this, um, once your project is done downloading, it has opened. Please inform us. Open the project. All right, then. Awesome. So, I believe each and every one of us have been able to open it. So, we have so many objects here. And if you right click and you hold down right click and like turn your cursor around, you'll be able to like navigate through the world. And if you zoom in and zoom out to your mouse, you'll be able to navigate through the world as well. So what I want us to do first is go back to our mind map for this game. Now, can you see that our mind map looks a little bit different from what we had earlier in Flappy Box? So from our start, there's a tutorial node. There's a second tutorial node. Can you see it here? There's a start node. Then there's a 3D world node. There's a UI node, there's an end screen, then you have a post screen. So these are the number of nodes we have for this one. You can see that it is much more than the ones we had for the previous game. So let's have a look at tutorial one. Someone said it's not downloading. Wow, what issues are you encountering? My build box is not responding. Wow, I'm so sorry about that.
Height of Night City. Yes, I'm here. Can we continue? All right. So she's um. All right, Imanana, you can download it. Don't worry. After today's class, I'll tell you how to download that. Um. Okay then. So all let's right. continue. So now, um, I think we all have an idea of what our start UI is already. That's basically the splash screen. Then um, we can go back to the mind map. We have tutorial one. What is tutorial one? Tutorial one is basically showing you um, a tutorial on how to play the games. You know, some games have like tutorials that helps you navigate how to play the game. So that's what this tutorial yes, one node is. And that's the same thing that tutorial two node is. It just shows you how to go about playing the game. It says swipe up, down, swipe up or down to avoid enemies. Can you see that it is what the same text fonts that we have here? So yeah. after that, let's go back to our mind map. Uh, yeah, mine was mine was okay. Um, I was a bit arrested a bit. So um, yeah. we can go to the start node as well. I thought I was able to uh, rest a see. bit. Um, yeah, but at the same time, I had like a an Easter boot camp for kids um, on game development. So was it okay, so um, now this is our main menu. Can you see how it looks like? We have the image. We have um, this button as well. We have this image. We have this image for the text as well. Can you see that? So that's what we have on this page. Then if you go back to our mind map again, we have the 3D world this time instead of what the 2D world. So now let's start around with our 3D world. First things first, I would like us to do just one thing before we close today. Let's change how this 3D world looks like by just changing what your background color. So instead of having this color, let's change it to like an alien purple something like this now can you see how our 3d world looks like it looks different already another thing you can do is change it to whatever color you would like to have maybe a red can you see this it makes it feel so different and if we try to preview this now let me drop this down to 25. excuse me can i please go back yes i'll definitely go back Thank you. Good. So let's go back to our mind map, then click on your 3D world. Then while clicking on your 3D world, if you check the properties of your 3D world, you can change the background color there. So whatever you want it to be. Then after that, you can preview. So have we been able to do that? Yes. All right, then everybody. I'm lost. Type a, type a yes in the chat if you've been able to do it. If you are lost, let's go over it. Hello? Excuse me, I can't hear anybody. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. All right then. Yes. I said, go to your mind map, and from your mind map, click on your 3D world. If you click on your 3D world, if you go to your right, you would see a background color um, option here, your properties. Click on it and change the color of your background color, the background color of your 3D world, basically. Have you been able to do that? Yes. All right, then. So try to yes. play the game now and let's see how it looks like. Thank you. 
Hello? Hello, were you able to do that? Yes, no. Who is saying no? What happened? I did not hear you. I said go to your mind map. From your mind map, click on the 3D world. From the 3D world, click on the background color and change the color to whatever you want. Did you hear that sound? Yes. All right. Then. Hello. Hello, I'm waiting for each and every one of us. Have we been have we all been able to finish? Yes. All right then, awesome. Getting this, I don't want them to get confused or we don't, I don't want us to dive. Hello, hello, are you with us? Yes, yeah, I just got back. All right, then. Okay. So I don't want so, them to dive too deep into this. Um, we are not diving deep at all, we are not diving deep at all into this. All right, oh, we are not diving deep at all. Into this. So, what I'm just saying is, you can always just toy around with um, the models you have here to switch the colors just like we did for flappy box if you click on this now and go to um the node map you can remember we did it for the box the squares and the circles earlier so what you can just do here is go to colors and change the color can you see and press ok if you go back to the 3d one now can you see how it has changed the color here so you can always toy around with your game just like this that's basically it so with this, I think we have at least the basic understanding of what it is to play the game, making use of field box. So um, if you have questions that you'd love to answer, I would really love to hear from each and every one of you. How do you make your ground red? If you remember very well, how did I make my ground red? If you remember very well, when we had um, the flappy box circles and um, the back, the boundaries that we changed the colors from blue, if you can remember very well, eh? what we did was we went to this asset panel here, we clicked on that particular object and it took us to the node map. Then from the node map, you can access this node here. Can you see this node here? This 3D model node. After clicking on this 3D model, no. This is the asset panel by the left here, by the left here. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Click on, 
In your 3D world, the assets panel is by the left here. What did I do? I clicked on ground tile space. Can you see it here? Look at my screen, please. Ground tile space. That is where my cursor is currently on. Then after that, double click on ground tile space. It should take you to the node map of that 3D model. Click on that 3D model and change the color of the 3D model. So whatever you want. After that, click on OK. And if you go back to your 3D world, you see that the color has changed. So that's basically how you can change different colors for your templates. Do we get that? Did we get that? Yes. All right, then. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yes. All right, I think um, my internet went off. Oh, awesome, excellent. All right, everyone. So I think we now understand okay, how to dig into views box, how to explore like different templates. All right, so um, Imanola, I'll still follow up with you on how to install open air. Um, but like once you once you click on that link, that's true. I download it. Once you click on that link, I download it. All I have to do is export the zip file and just double click on it. There is a link. Okay. Zip, oh, right, you can find the link. Let me post it for you again. Um. All right, let me post the link for you again. All right, so I posted it in chat again for you, and I'll post it on Telegram as well. Yeah, so, so you can download opening up. All right, I think that's all you need, uh, Manila. And, um, yeah, you. So you would um, be able to preview your game. Awesome, everyone. I think we've enjoyed ourselves um, to this class. Let's appreciate Uncle Tosin. Um, let's just say thank you, Uncle Tosin, for um, teaching us how to build games on build books. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. So I hope to see all our games. I hope to see all our games. Send me screenshots. Send me pictures of you playing your game. Send me videos. Send it to Telegram so I'll see what you were able to create. So everyone, um, try to play your game and send me screenshots of your game, OK? And also keep playing more games, keep building more games. I want to see all the games you'll be building. So I'll still be communicating with us um, on Telegram to understand like, okay, the difficulties we're still having and how we can, how I can help out. All right, so 
we would also still be having like further sessions. Like anytime I'm having a game development class again on Buildbox, I'll let us all know. Right. So let's um keep let's keep practicing, let's keep building more and more and more games. All right, David, I look forward to seeing the screenshot of your game. Also Terminala. I look forward to seeing the screenshot of your game. I can't send the message to the telegram group. Everyone, um, can we all still hear me? Can we all hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you so much yeah. for joining. Thank you so much for joining the class. And um, I look forward to seeing your screenshots and your pictures of the games you made, and also um, your high score, and also other games other games you'll be building, okay? But we can't send okay. message to the group. You can't send message to the group. All right, let me check that out. Um, let me check that out. All right, okay, okay, all right. So I just enabled you to be able to send messages. All right, so you can send messages now. All right, everyone. See you, see you. Bye. We've come to the end of our four-day Easter um, board class. So I look forward to seeing your pictures, the screenshots. As I said, all these videos will be uploaded on YouTube. So anytime you want to watch it again, you can watch it. Emanuela, please message me on Telegram if you are still having difficulties so I can help you out to solve, solve it, okay? Okay, mom. All right. Okay, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.